elections in the United Nations. And our class, today we, are going, we, are, we get to look at the performance of the United Nations. In this case here, what we mean is the achievements of United Nations. Now class, welcome and let us learn. This is teacher Rojab. Now, by the end of the lesson, what do we expect class? We expect to have known the achievements of the United Nations. What are some of the achievements that the United Nations have has, has achieved so far? Now, class, let us get to start. It has led to the promotion of world peace and security. What does this mean? that the United Nations has taken a leading role in promoting world peace. And you, you know very well, for example, here in Kenya, we have got our neighboring um, Somalia that has been um, politically unstable, right? The peace and security in that place for a long time, it has not been stable. That is why you, you have always been seeing the United Nations soldiers, right? Let me show you the United Nations soldiers. There they are. You can see in that image there, you can see the United Peacekeepers. They always wear a blue uh, berets or blue helmets to identify themselves. That is the symbol of the United Nations military. But however, you must get to know that uh, the United Nations doesn't have its army, right? It gets um, its army or military from these member states. Now, and again, another performance of the United Nations is that it has led to disarmament efforts. What does it mean by disarmament efforts? It has reduced the issue of, uh, of arms, the issue of making more arms. Now, the reduction of arms, it has been facilitated by signing of a number of treaties that have controlled the, 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 the production or, or rather the, issue, the production of more arms. One, the first treaty was the Anta Antarctic Treaty of 1959. In this Antarctic Treaty, it led to the demilitarization of Antarctica, right? And also we had the South Pacific Nuclear Zone Treaty of 1985. In this uh, South, uh, South Pacific Nuclear Zone Treaty, it forbade testing and dumping of nuclear weapons. And also class, another, an, another, another achievement or another performance of the United Nations is that it helped initiate development programs in developing countries. What are these developing programs? For, for example, we have got the UNDP. What does the UNDP mean? In the UN, it simply means the United Nations Development Program has given assistance amount to 95 million to 93 developing countries. And Kenya has benefited from this UNDP program, whereby it has assisted the developing countries and also class the un has obtained equal rights for women in voting education opportunities and other legal rights for example recently saudi arabia the women were allowed to vote you see that now it has obtained equal rights of women and also women were allowed to drive that's another significant uh, development that un has, has also done and also FAO. FAO, that is FAO, and the class, if you get to remember, FAO just simply means a food and agriculture organization launched the Freedom from Hunger campaign, which was 1960. Since, the, since then, this movement has been, successfully, has been successful all over the world. Now, that is the UN, and those are some of the performance of the UN. And also, just to state other, other performance of the UN, is that the United Nations High Commission of Refugees, it is well known, the UNH, uh, and, uh, uh, UNHR, right? The United Nations High Commission for Refugees has, over the years, helped to provide food, shelter, security, and those other basic 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 facilities for refugees and for example and a good example is uh, of UNHSR, UNHR is in the Kakuma and Adap refugees in Kenya whereby it has taken a leading role in providing food shelter and other basic facilities for example education to those people living in the camps and a good example class I've given the issue of the Kakuma and the Adab refugee camps in Kenya and also the WHO, that is the World Health Organization, has helped in control of malaria in most areas of the world. And, uh, and in, this, in this case, yeah, world, uh, the, the World Health Organization has been very significant in Kenya, right? It has been very significant in Kenya because it has really taken a leading role 
in controlling malaria. And finally, the World Bank has played a crucial role in the constructing of the economies of many nations. You can't talk of World, um, World Bank without mentioning Kenya. Kenya has been a great, a great, a great bene bene benefactor from the World, the World Bank because we have, bol uh, we have borrowed billions, trillions of money from World Bank in, in, in the issue of reconstructing of the economies. Now, class, we have looked at the performance of the UN, and now, can you get to state some of the performance of the UN? And for your reference, can you get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government, Book 4? And as always, this is a limited TV, your favorite learning channel, where you get to watch and learn.